Kamakura in Japan and I'm at a Shinto shrine and there's just a couple fish in the water here. Pretty cool. I am still at the Shinto shrine and I came across a couple of koi. Yeah, they're pretty big. Pretty spectacular looking in somewhat of their natural habitat. Not really the natural habitat, but they're from Japan. They're in Japan. They look pretty cool to me. Here are some more koi from the same pond on the other side. Here's how the water gets in. Hello fishy folks, I'm in a fish store in Shibuya, Japan, which is part of Tokyo, called Sensuous. And I'm looking at this tank. It's pretty nice. It's got a couple big pieces of driftwood in it. And some sort of pleco it looks like, or catfish down on the bottom there. Don't know what it is, I can't really get a good look at it. Uh, it looks like there are some tetras or some other small fish in there. It's run off a canister filter down on the bottom. Shop has a lot of EDA tanks and plants. Small fish tanks. Look how small that tank is. We would say that's too small, but they do it. Um, it's a pretty big frog. There's nobody here that speaks English, so I can't ask how often they change the water, but my guess would be every day based on how immaculate the water is in these little tanks. There's the whole shop, pretty small. On this shelf, there are little tiny vessels for holding water. I wouldn't call them tanks. There's a little tiny frog. Don't know anything about it. There's a beta in a little tiny container that we would say is too small, but the water's pristine. There's also some small turtles, some more cool turtles. And look at this beta. Is not not fantastic. It's gorgeous. We would say that container is too small though. But look how nice the fish look and how clean the water is. <clears throat> Down here we got some more just scapes in these containers. I didn't see any livestock in there. Let's go over and look at the tanks. Lots of plants. I mean lots of plants. They all look like they're in great shape. Not too expensive, about $5 a bunch, give or take. Over here we have a guppy tank. Not so sure how big this tank is. Maybe 20 gallons-ish. I see some floating plants. Also run on a canister filter. Guppies are about uh, $4.50 a pair, which isn't a bad price. They do look pretty small. Uh, most of the fish in Japan are small because the tanks are small. There's the intake. It's glass. And there's the outtake or discharge hose, I guess. These are pretty long cylinder tanks, which I guess I didn't get a good video of. Black moors in this fish tank. Little tiny ones. So there's the intake with the sponge on it. And there's where the water comes out. All glass. There's a canister filter. Looks like it's just a canister with a pump on top. How about this bowl? Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Alright, let's look back at the tanks. Got some autos, I think. I can't really tell. Down on the bottom we got some shrimp. Lots of different color shrimp. Blue shrimp. Yellow shrimp. Platties and clown loaches. Looking nice. Looks like we got some tetras and pea puffers, many pea puffers, cardinal tetras. I know they're called our tetras because Corey put out a video and in it he taught us how to distinguish cardinal tetras from neon tetras. Looks like some gold rams, maybe some blue rams too. I don't know what else was in this tank. More tetras over the, there. There's cardinals in the corner. Not cardinals. Neons in the corner. 
Down here we got some goldfish. Good looking goldfish. More different fish. I can't really tell what they are. But look how clean the tanks are. No dead fish. Crystal clear water. These flags obviously tell you what country the fish are from. I don't know if it's where the fish were bred or uh, just where they're native to. So I, I can't answer that question. Lots of scaping supplies, ADA, everything. Aqua soil on the bottom. Tools. Pretty expensive stuff. ADA fish food. The little bottle I looked at, it's about $19 for that. Decided to stay away from it. Over here we have their little sink. It looks like their homemade uh, fill system. Pretty handy. Lots of supplies, dry goods over here. Ceramic media and bio bowls. Some Eheim stuff. Uh, oh, filters over here, little box filters. Little uh, extra sponges for the box filters. Not too bad price. This big one. Uh, that I will pick up soon, I think. Oh, I guess it'll pick it up now. So, vacuum teas. Uh, fertilizer. More fertilizer. Shrimp food. And oxalotl food. More fertilizer. So this big filter was about $8.50. It's just a big box filter. I don't know what it was rated for. I didn't really look. I wanted to pick one up, but I actually forgot. Um, so we got more food. Heaters. Down here, this looks like a 100 watt heater. It was about $29, I think. I don't know what this was. It's Hikari something, but I don't I don't know what it is. And obviously green tubing is Eheim. I did see some Eheim pumps in the front, but not a whole lot of stuff from Eheim. Going back to the tanks, they're looking great. The platies, I wanted to take some home. 